I'm not gonna kill you because we're friends now. Nick might. Nick might definitely murder you. And I'm back. Excuse me. Hmm. You're back. More than I expected. Did Adam reveal something to you? Yeah, I stole this tchotchke. I drank from the spring, and a woman led me to this icon. Does this mean something? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? Is there something special about this thing? I think it may be a message from someone very important. So I need you to tell me what you saw. Make something up. It was... <laughs> Otherworldly. The woman, she was like a living shadow, cloaked in mist. Adam above. You really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. Ask some questions. You mind if I ask you some questions first? If you must. So, what exactly happened to me at the spring? Seems Adam granted you a vision. Only those deemed worthy of joining the children have them <laughs> and live. But for some rare souls, he sends more. A messenger. Or in your case, the mother. So, was the mother real? Most people believe she's some sort of spirit, a creature of the wilds. Though a few claim she's just an old hermit. Regardless, our family wouldn't be here without her. If she figured in your vision, well, there are few signs clear you're meant to be one of us. What can you tell me about the children's beliefs? Our belief is in Holy Adam, who struck this world two centuries ago, wreathing it in his glow. That glow is the children's way out of this place. To division. The division? The game? What's division? Release. Release of your potential. Of all the worlds locked away inside you, broken apart and reborn a thousand times over through the glow. Island's the perfect place for it. Thanks to the fog, the nucleus. Glow everywhere. Oh. With patience, we'll all find division in this oh, place. Oh, the division. They're talking about the bomb. Are you willing to tell me what was happening between you and those two children when I showed up? Our family is built on trust. Many people on this island would kill us without thought. Those two needed to prove they could be trusted. One did. All right. That was all the questions I had. You're ready to take your place among Adam's children, then? I am ready to follow his path. Then it will be so. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. Have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. <laughs> but know this, we are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother. Robes of Adam's devoted. Oh, I get a little ball protected, nice. Get a cup. Look at me. I'm pregnant. I'm a little pregnant, baby. Man, I wish I had my fish. Put the sword away, Nick. You look crazy. Look, we're trying to be undercover here. Nick. Nick, you're not being... That'd be inconspicuous. There we go. Believe the confessor is wrapping up his sermon. You should head inside. Oh, you think he's making wraps after? Jesus. That was a hard door. They are doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff at us behind their condensers. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. 
After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's Veil will roll down its streets. Holy fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! Jesus. I mean, Adam. All right. Well, that's creepy as shit. Um. All right, let's. See. You know what? We're gonna do some of their. Uh, do some of their dead classes. This is pretty interesting. I'm a new brother. I got jetpack. How did he go in his jerk shack? Ah, there you are. Wait. I have a job for you. Wait a minute. I got. I gotta go in a jerk shack. Oh. <gasps> I know that you can hear me. Please, please, deliver me from this. Okay. Lucy, I'm home. Man, you guys got a lot of skulls. Where do you get these skulls from? Do you order in bulk? You probably order in bulk. Ah, I'd heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome, brother. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? I wonder if this is the same douchebag from Fallout 3. Too many rads. Adam's chosen? This place, the nucleus, the island, Adam has claimed it all for us. He's chosen. All but one blasted corner. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? Well, I'd help him out. Far Harbor's a hellhole. I'd wipe it out. Precisely. The only way to deal with oh, an infection. Up. Nick, I'm joking. Cleanse the wound and cauterize the flesh. Nick, we're under You want to wipe out that entire town? Didn't know you were so bloodthirsty. Nick, we're under cover. For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that. And you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? All right. Would you mind answering a couple questions for me? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's on your head? What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, and the next morning, He'd simply vanished. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him. To no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become... questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town. 
and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, he'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood, for nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. There's so much radiation on the island. How come people here don't get sick? Some do. But most of our family has been blessed at birth with an affinity for the glow. It's no more to us than a May rain. Warm. Comforting. It's why a place like this island truly is meant for his children. Others simply wither away while we gladly await division. What can you tell me about division? Adam's greatest gift. Locked inside us all are billions of invisible worlds, waiting only to be touched by his glow in order to be born anew through division. During the Great War, it was granted to many, though they certainly didn't realize it. But today it is often a slow process, taking years of exposure in order to be realized. We are all here to spend our lives seeking the promise of division, however long it may take. Now, did you have another question? Yes. I heard the children are responsible for the fog. Is that true? Of course. The fog predates our arrival on the island, certainly. But before us, it was but an occasional presence. Yet through our faith, our devotion to family, Adam saw fit to reach across the land, claiming for us more, year after year, until near all lay beneath his grasp. Now, was there something else I could answer for you? Oh, so it's not you. How is it you came to this place? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin, and I, had come north oh, at the behest God. of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, yep, Cromwell, from a small refuge in the Capital Wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the Archimist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town, driven into the wilds, barely escaped with our lives. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived, and finally found a place that we could call home. All right. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep you. Oh wait, no I did. Hi, Confessor. Yes? What is it, child? Where are the bathrooms? Uh, like to help the family, nothing to show a mother icon. I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the mother? Fuck. So the whispers were true. You saw the mother of the fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? Um, like to help the family? Yeah, I'd like to help the family. Is there anything I can do? Eager. There is a member of our little community I've suspected for some time now. My own inquiries have proven fruitless. But your relative newness will likely make it easier for you to sniff out the truth. I would have you investigate this person. Should you find proof of any heresy or disloyalty, you're to bring it to me. Show you can be trusted, and you'll be rewarded. Uh, what am I looking for? What exactly am I looking for? Hard evidence of any plots against myself, the family, or disrespect towards Holy Adam. Such transgressions cannot be allowed to stand. I have a feeling like, um... <laughs> Maybe the children of Adam will be like the uh, praise of the sun in Dark Souls. Um, consider it done. Consider it done. Superb. Bring whatever you find directly to me. It's Here. simple. 
the person in question. Oh, that's your Leave hand. no stone unturned. This is a chance to prove your value to Adam. Hey. Excuse me, High Confessor. Hello, my child. Was there something you required? Nick, we're undercover, you fucking idiot. Those memories you'd been wanting to access? Oh, shit. I found a way to unlock them. Oh, you have. fuck. Atom above, child. God damn it. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. I really need to... One of you did uh, put the link up for the full dialogue stuff. I really do need to check that out. Uh, you know, let's check out what else he's got going on here. This your room. This way you sleep. Oh. Can this holy vessel think of think on the sacrifices of our family or call sins of wicked for her? Our family has gotten a little bigger. Hi. Welcome. Oh, you're very nice. So well, thank you for welcoming me. Alright. Holy shit. I should get out of here. If you're looking for the crypt, you took a wrong turn. My job to take care of this place. You touch anything, I'm taking the limb. Understand? Mm-hmm. Be respectful. You walk through Hallowed Hall. Alright, let's see. I wanna do I, I wanna do some of the side quests. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to report anyone though. This is awesome though. Oh crap. Oh. Keep finally ready to fulfill your responsibility to Adam. I still have a job I need done. All right, what's up? What kind of job? A matter of heresy that needs to be dealt with. I'm ready to serve, Grand Zealot. There is a woman, one of our own, or she was, Gwyneth, but she's given herself over to something dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Thiel to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. Why have me do this? You have other zealots who probably know the area better. Consider it a test. Prove your dedication to the family. To the family. To the family. I'll find her, Grand Zealot. Good. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. Nick, we're under fucking cover. Do you fucking understand? God. Jesus Christ, Nick. You think I just stripped down for no reason? Albert. Thanks. <laughs> You're watching him sleep? That's nice, I guess. Freaking me out. Are you Albert or are you the other? No, you're the deal. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? Slobbering goon? Do people have bad reactions to the spring? Few make it through the ritual intact. Sort of the point. A vision from Adam is a great honor. Not something to be granted to the unworthy. So tell me, what did you see? A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. You saw the mother of the... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. So you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith and guardians of the nucleus. 
Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, was actually a soldier of some rank in his old life, if the rumors are true. Adam ever grant you any vision? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. Made do for a couple years. Adam's Vale hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive. Thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge. Drinking puddles and salt water. Until I stumbled on a spring. THE spring. The vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but... I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. Sister Gwyneth? The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well. As I'm sure the Grand Whoa. Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her. At least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. Clever I'm ashamed girl. to admit that I failed. What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie. When Tectus confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait, hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared. And we knew it had to be her. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. Alright. Got the holy sites and... None shall escape his wrath. None shall escape his wrath. None shall escape his wrath. Was that stuff under <gasps> Nice. Oh. All right. Remember, Nick, we're undercover. Oh, was she the one that was soldering? Or doing the thing? Yeah. You again. This still isn't Holy the crypt. Shit. And I shouldn't need to remind you our policy on touching things. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking die, lady. Come over here. <laughs> Put my suit back on. Pardon me. Not here to give tours, here to make sure this place keeps running. So please, make it quick. Why build a crypt in the sub? Don't you have the entire base? Keeps our fallen brethren near his glow, near their family. Only spotted child should spend eternity. A true honor. Denied to too many. Why would someone be denied a place in the crypt? You've been out there, right? This place. It's dangerous. Take a wrong turn in the fog? Sorry, brother. Lost to the family. Wander too close to the wrong settlement. Lost to the family. Adam, help you. You look at Tectus the wrong way. You don't like Tectus, huh? Who wouldn't? Man's a damn... Uh, that is, uh, I... Uh, I like Tectus just fine, but I, uh, I think you should go. Ooh. Is this her bunk? She sleeps here? I 
guess this is her bunk. My dear Aubert, you worry too much, even if the High Confessor is still having trouble getting over my past closeness with Martin Richter as a friend. If there was a problem, the Grand Zealot would tell me. That said, I think you and I should continue using our footlocker and storage room to share messages. You know how gossip spreads in this place. I wouldn't want you getting drawn to any undue intrigue. And in case yours has wandered off again, I've hidden spare key behind a bench in entryway locker room. Just in case, counting the moments until we're together, Edgar. Oh, 